induced polyploidy and its applications. Polyploidy is a common among plants and has been in fact a major source of speciation in angiosperms. It is a condition in which a normally a diploid cell or organism acquires a one or more additional sets of chromosomes. Uh, that which means a polyploid cell uh, will, be ha will have a three or more times the haploid chromosome number. Polyploidy could arise as a result of uh, total non-disjunction non of chromosomes during mitosis or meiosis. Uh, this is a picture depicting what is meant by non-disjunction. Uh, it is simply the failure of uh, homologous chromosomes to separate properly during meiosis. And the left picture, uh, picture on the left side shows what actually happens uh, during meiosis. And the uh, right one uh, uh, shows what happens when in, uh, when in non disjunction. In uh, normal meiosis, uh, it's a reduction division, so each gamete will, re uh, will receive haploid set of chromosomes. But in non disjunction, uh, there, is a, there, is an, there is an error occurs during the meiosis. Uh, thus, a diploid uh, gamete will be produced. And uh, what actually ploidy means? Ploidy is the number of sets of chromosomes in a cell of an organism. Uh, prokaryotes, they are usually haploid, and eukaryotes are usually diploids. Other ploidy conditions are also seen in nature, but uh, they are not so common. And a ploidy is further divided into euploidy and aneuploidy based on the type of change occurring in their chromosome number. A ploidy is, further, uh, is divided into euploidy and aneuploidy, and euploidy further divided into monoploidy and polyploidy. Here, poly, uh, this polyploidy came under euploidy. And polyploidy is for the divided into autopolyploidy and allopolyploidy. Autopolyploidy means uh, extra set of chromosome uh, will be from uh, the same species. Uh, and in case of allopolyploidy, allo means different. Uh, here, the chrom extra set of chromosome uh, will be from uh, will not be from the same species, but uh, from a closely related species of the same genus. And a new ploidy uh, further divided into hyp hyperploidy and hyperploidy. Okay. And polyploidy uh, refers to the presence of more than two paired sets of chromosomes. And polyploids uh, have multiple sets of chromosomes. Uh, it is a combination of chromosomes. Uh, uh, they have multiple sets of chromosomes. Uh, either the combination of uh, chromosomes of same species, uh, as uh, uh, they are called as autopolyploidy, or a closely related diploid species uh, from the same genus, that means allopolyploidy. The two types of polyploidies are there. It is polyploid organisms, uh, they can arise spontaneously by chromosome duplication of somatic cells, or they can arise during meiosis due to non-disjunction of homologous chromosomes, giving rise to diploid gametes. And this picture, it says how a tetraploid plant cell is originated. A uh, diploid plant cell of two one condition, uh, which undergoes meiosis, and a meiosis error occurs there, so it produces a diploid gamete. It, and this diploid gamete further on fertilization produces a diploid plant. I mean, tetraploid plant. This is, a, uh, this is one example of how polyploids are created. It's a tetraploid plant. In polyploid condition, cells have more than two paired sets of chromosomes. Uh, then the most nucleated species are diploids mon and monoploids, they are haploids, having uh, n number of chromosomes, diploids having two, no, two n number of chromosomes, have a paired set of chromosomes, and triploids having three sets of chromosomes, and so on. And induced polyploidy. Induced polyploidy is a common technique uh, which is used in plant breeding uh, by plant, plant breeding technique, which is used for uh, overcoming the sterility of hybrid species. It is commonly used by plant breeders. 
And uh, the chemical which is commonly used in inducing polyploid is colchicine. Uh, colchicine uh, it induces polyploidy by the, preventing the segregation of chromosomes during meiosis. And this results in half of the gametes containing double number of chromosomes than usual. And there are several methods for inducing polyploidy. Uh, and in recent years, uh, the number of methods have been worked out for inducing polyploidy. And, uh, and one technique is, uh, one of the techniques is by radiation. Uh, radiations like X-rays, gamma rays, et cetera, they are exposed to certain plant parts. And these radiations, they, they increase the rate of cell division and also causes multiplication of chromosome number. And thus they induce a polyploid condition in plants. And another technique is by injury. In the metastomatic zone of plants, when the metastomatic zones of plants are injured, the cells are, uh, at the point of injury grows rapidly and form a, a structure known as callus. Uh, callus is full of metastomatic cells and the uh, callus growth is enhanced by a chemical substance called comarine which brings about somatic doubling of chromosomes and the cells developing from the callus they are polyploid in nature. Another one is regeneration in vitro. Uh, some of the plants are regenerated from the callus. Uh, from the callus in suspension culture uh, they are found to be polyploids. And another important technique is by chemical treatment. Uh, there are numerous chemicals uh, are there which are used for inducing polyploidy. Some of them are like colchicine, 8-hydroxyquinoquinone, acetophenone, nitrous oxide, granosan, sulfonylamide, etc. And colchicine is quite famous among them. It is the best chemical used for this, uh, this purpose and is obtained from the extract of seeds and corns of colchicum. And there are different ways for doing this colchicine treatment. First one by seed treatment. Uh, here treatment is given for a definite, uh, treatment is given for seeds for a definite period. And this uh, time period will be different for different species. Uh, the seeds are soaked in aqueous solution of colchicine uh, in shallow container for a desired period of time, and then they are thoroughly washed and sown. Both dry and soft seeds are used, but uh, studies show that shows that uh, uh, dry seeds will give better results than the soft ones. Next one is the seedling treatment. Here, yeah, the seedlings are treated by the chemical colchicine. Uh, they are treated at a very young state. Short tips are dipped in colchicine solution. And the treatment may be given uh, three to 24 hours, and in some cases, repeated on uh, three to two to three days. Next is uh, treatment of growing buds of shoots. Growing plants are also treated sometimes. Uh, here, uh, can kill is applied by a brush or a dropper or cotton soaked in the chemical. And is repeated once or twice daily for a few week, a few days. Colchicine solution mixed with lanolin paste is smeared on the shoot tip and is repeated two to three times daily for a week. In the plants, 1% solution is applied over the growing buds. For uh, proper penetration, uh, is a, uh, this te technique is a, uh, repeated two to three times daily. And the effect of colchicine. Colchicine is uh, a spindle poison actually. It simply checks the movements of chromatids during the anaphase of cell division. Thus, a spindle formation will not occur uh, and chromosome suppression will be erupted. And the chromosome separation process uh, will be disrupted. This meiosis error occurs. 
chromosomes and uh, chromosomes will not be separated. This polyploidy can be used in three ways by plant breeders. Uh, uh, maybe to elevate the chromosome number of species or to elevate the chromosome number of hybrids or uh, to serve as a bridge between ploidy levels or between species and the applications of polypo induced polyploidy. In polyploid organisms have large cell size and the plant will be a plant uh, uh, will be more uh, bigger than the normal one. Yes. Enlargement and increased vigor of plants and it is used to create uh, to steroid triploids and uh, for restoring the fertility in hybrids and for overcoming barriers and hybridizations. In some cases, and for enhancing pest resistance, uh, stress tolerance, etc. Then uh, this is also used for creating seedless fruits. Disease resistance uh, plants could also be uh, created using this technology uh, for serving as a cross bridge. And these polyploids, uh, they can reproduce without fertilization. Uh, that means they could, uh, they could reproduce without a male, without fertilization. Conclusion, polyploid is normally occurring a phenomenon. It's normally, it's normally seen in nature. It's common among plants, but are rarely seen among animals. Uh, uh, we could uh, observe polyploid condition in animals such as reptiles, amphibians, and some fishes, like salmons, etc. Not so common in animal kingdom. Uh, in the case of mammals, it is lethal. In plants, uh, polyploidy has certain advancements. Uh, in crop plants, it is induced uh, by plant breeders, and known as induced polyploidy. Here, the cells are usually larger in size. It has certain other pros like overcoming sterility, resistance to tolerance, etc. <laughs> and in short, a plant in plant kingdom, it has a lot of benefits. It uh, have a key role in evolution, um, causing speciation, etc. But in case of animals, it is lethal. Uh, and especially in case of mammals, it causes prenatal death. And novel ideas are being introduced into this field. And this technique is relevant in current situation for increasing food production, economic advancements, etc. Thank you.